Now we're going to jump into the rapid fire questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's a great word or phrase to say with a Minnesota accent? Well, the classic is ufda, which is spelled U-F-F. D-A. It is actually a Norwegian word that, you know, like Minnesota was settled by Scandinavians in the 1800s. Essentially, it's loosely translated as like, dang, like, ufta, it is cold out there. I don't think I've ever heard this. (laughs) There are whole stores that are called that, you know, like it's a very, very quintessential Minnesota thing to say. What's the most unusual subject you've ever taught a class about? My very first year as a teacher, I got assigned to teach one section of health. So I'm brand new graduate, like young teacher. Um, And these are seniors and I am supposed to teach them about childbirth. And I'm supposed to be super, super professional and pretend like this is completely fine. Let me answer all your questions and it'll be, I'm not embarrassed at all, but it was mortifying. In addition to government and teaching, you're also passionate about wildlife, (laughs) whales in particular. So do you have any cool whale facts that you want to surprise us (laughs) with? I do love whales. A blue whale's heart is large enough for an adult man to stand inside of. What's your favorite TV show from the 90s? I think everybody feels like they're supposed to say friends. It's like, who's your favorite president? You're supposed to say Abraham Lincoln? There's a correct answer that most people are expecting. What's your favorite historical insult? Some of Abraham Lincoln's opponents who um, referred to him in a very derogatory manner as being high cheekboned and long legged. Oh no, <laughs> that, that's the worst thing you have to oh. say about me. That's a supermodel. It's like high cheekboned and long legged. All right, well, that's all of our rapid fire questions. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh.